there's a lot of hurting people out here. Social workers feel helpless. Case managers are overwhelmed with cases. And then you got the police and you're dealing with a thousand people out here on the streets. There's nobody to help them. But now they see this person, right, who cared enough and was willing to do something. Helping these people is everything to me. She is directly responsible for me being alive. I live and breathe to serve you. Some people think I'm just this rich lady that decided to start helping people. It was nothing like that at all. I couldn't imagine my life without alcohol. Been on the street and left for trash. I live under the boxcar. I just uh, lost hope, you know? See, when you're out there in the streets, it's a whole different world. It's a miracle that she even made it out of that alive. I became a different person. When her mama passed, her mama gave her a house. And then God said, great job. Now sell it and move to the hood. She said, I bought a house. You got to come see it. I was going to help about 10 women stay sober every year. God had much bigger plans. She's steady buying houses. Steady buying houses. The growth is overwhelming. It's about creating a home-like atmosphere and love and compassion. That's what it's about. When she told me, welcome home, I just knew that it was all going to be OK. Whatever you have a compassion for, that's not a job. That's a calling. How on earth did this all happen?